everyone. So right now I'm going to be doing my May wrap up. So I read five books this month and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys what they are and my rating for them because I'm just so excited. I had a decent reading month and I'm just really excited. I actually wish I had read more and the reason why I did it was because near the end of the month I decided to start watching this Netflix show called Prison Break and please 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 do not spoil me on it I am only on the third season and I know that there's only like one season left or whatever there's only four seasons but I'm in the very beginning of the third season and it has just been taking over my life it is absolutely like amazing if you have never watched that show please watch it I would love to talk to people about it once I finish the the series because I watched a very emotional episode last night and I went to work today and was crying basically all day at work. I was like at one point like hysterically sobbing and my dad was like shut up already I'm sick of hearing you and so it's just oh my god I could like I could probably cry right now talking about it because it's just <sighs> enough okay so I totally got enthralled by a TV show at the end of the month and so I didn't read anything for the past like a week I've just been like binge watching this show and so I'm hopefully gonna finish that soon and start reading again because I do really miss reading so five books the first book that I read in May was Until Trevor and this is a book two in the Until series or it's all about the Mason men and I gave this book four stars I thoroughly enjoyed it I loved the characters and I didn't have any problems with it the next book that I read was King by T.M. Frazier. It looks like this. And I gave this book five stars. I absolutely flew through this book. It is an amazing, very, very, very dark read. It is about a girl who loses her memory. And she loses her memory. She has no money. And she has, you know, she's no recollection of who she is. And then she runs into this man who is a complete criminal. He just got out of prison and, you know... It's about them and their story and it is just a roller coaster and it is so good. I think I read this book in one sitting. If not, it was maybe two sittings at most and I just, I could not put it down. It was an amazing, amazing story. Then I read Tyrant, which is book two and that is also by T.M. Frazier. And I gave this book five stars as well. It is the continuation because book one does leave off on a cliffhanger. So if you do plan on reading it, make sure you have the second one ready. But I really, really enjoyed it. And oh, it was so good. So, so good. Five stars. Five stars. And then the next one that I read is True by Erin McCarthy. I gave this one four stars. And this one was so good. It is about a girl who is in college and her friends find out that she's a virgin and so they decide to hire a tattooed bad boy to take her virginity. But, you know, his name is Tyler and her name is Rory. And Tyler knows that she is just too good for him, but she is he is so interested in her and so he takes her up on this offer. And, you know, Tyler has a very bad home life and it starts to affect them and they have to figure out what they're going to do basically 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 four stars really awesome read I really liked it I didn't have too many like discrepancies with that book I didn't like the whole fact how her friends tried to sell her virginity like that but what can you do that's how the whole story started I mean I can't complain that they met because <laughs> I do really like them but yeah and then the next one that I read is The Valentine's Arrangement by Kelsey Leverich. I gave this book four stars as well. This is about a tattoo artist named Ronnie and she has been screwed over by her ex who is in the military and she just does not want anything to do with anybody. She doesn't want anything to do with anybody in the military. She doesn't want anything to do with any men and she doesn't like romance. She's just sick of it. She doesn't like Valentine's Day because it's coming up and she doesn't want anything to do with it. She's just so hurt, you know? She puts on this mask to hide how hurt she is. She kind of acts very tough because she is very tough. She's very tough, very like blunt and straight to the point. And she, you know, meets this Sergeant Kale Emerson and he's on mid to her leave and they decide to have a no strings attached relationship. But of course that doesn't usually happen and that's not where the story goes and it's about them and deciding what they're going to do and 
you know, it says back here that winning her heart could be the toughest battle he has ever fought. And I thought that was really cute, you know, with the whole military thing. I really enjoyed this book. I was a little short and I wish there was more to it because I did enjoy the story. But I did really enjoy it and there wasn't very much that I disliked about it. And so that's always good. But yeah, those are the books that I read in May. Now, I don't think that's too bad of a reading wrap up because these past couple months I've just been horrible. I think I've read 13 books this whole year. Like it's so, so, so sad because I just wish I had more time, but I don't. And when I do have time, I watch Prison Break. <sighs> All right. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books or anything by these authors or anything. What you read this month, I would love to know what you guys read. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Leave some comments, like this video, subscribe, all that jazz. You guys know. I don't need to tell you any of that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.